Hey everybody, it's Kevin here. So today I wanted to show you guys uh, how to use the Block Tanks Map Editor. Now this title is actually a little bit of clickbait because I didn't actually make a new map editor. So for those of you who don't know, uh, you can currently go to map editor dot my name and then dot org, right? And what that'll do is it'll basically bring you to this website that I where you can go and edit the map. Uh, now there's some problems with it. Uh, mostly there's not a whole lot of functionality. It's pretty buggy. You can see right now it's even just a simple 50 by 50 map is crashing my computer. So it's definitely not like a great option. Um, but it's something and it's what I've been using for like the past few years to edit my games and edit the maps. But I thought it was time for an upgrade, especially since in the future I want to do bigger maps, more advanced features, and I also want to let other people edit maps as well. So what we're using now is some software called Tiled, and it's a really good uh, level editor, map editor. This video is basically a tutorial on how to use Tiled to make a block tanks map. So basically what you want to do is you want to download it for whatever computer you're using and open it. And the other thing you want to do is download some files. I have the link in the description. So all you have to do is open it and it's going to say that it doesn't find this because it's sort of, it doesn't know the location of basically what your tile map is. So to explain what that is, the map editor uses, there's obviously a map and that's what this little grid is down here. This is a 30 by 30 block tanks map, but it doesn't know where the images are. It doesn't know, uh, it doesn't know where to find the actual tiles. And so up here, we're just going to select this open tile set. And that's going to take you here. And you just want to go to that same folder where you had that image file. And we'll, we'll just click open. And so now you can see it has loaded the seven different blocks. You can see, if we zoom in a bit here, we have just an empty background. We have a wall. We have a power up a roof, uh, a roof with a power up spawn under it, and then blue spawn and red spawn. So anyway, you can actually see now uh, the map has loaded. So let's go over some of the features real quick. So there's this cool little brush and that's basically what you're going to be using most of the time. And you can just draw little designs. You select what you want to draw with here. What's even cooler is this is not just a brush tool, it's a stamp brush. So I've been left clicking this whole time. And now if you right click and drag, and by the way, really all you need for this software is a good mouse. I would not recommend using a trackpad for this. So if you right click, you can actually select your design and like paste it around. Maybe if you want something symmetrical, you can actually uh, copy it, go up here and flip it and then put it back down. And you'll see the tiles are flipped and that's okay. That doesn't really do anything. It's just going to look kind of weird. So yeah, that's about it as far as um, the basics. Let's go into some more advanced concepts. So, uh, well actually there's the shape brush tool. That's not too crazy. You can just do that. Uh, there's the fill tool. You can fill in something. Uh, also, you can undo, which is really nice. Uh, my website doesn't have that. So anyway, let's go into some more advanced features. Um, really the only other one you'll need to know is uh, this random mode which I found and is really cool and how this works is if I select um, just the wall and just the empty element and I turn on random mode and I decide to draw a rectangle you'll actually see that it fills it in completely randomly about half of them are uh, empty spaces and half of them are roofs now if I go to the tile set and I give this a higher probability for example three now it's one and three, so that's the ratio that it's going to spawn uh, walls and tiles. That's what I believe. I'm not quite sure, but I believe that that means for every one wall, you're going to have three empty spaces, and that's that's sort of what it looks like. So this is a more open map, definitely more open than something like this. And so if you really just don't know what kind of map you want, you just need some inspiration. This is a really cool feature, just completely randomly fills in your map. Now, that being said, I want to point out some things that aren't allowed uh, in the block tanks map, just for technical reasons. This border right here, you have to have the border in, you can't open it. 
And um, the other thing is these diagonal walls right here. These can't really exist because a lot of bullets will glitch through this little diagonal right here. So you go, you want to go ahead and patch that up. So if you use the random tool, you have to go in and clean it up. You want your map to make sense. So like this, this doesn't make any sense right here. So you'd want to go and uh, give it some sense. Uh, decide where you want blue team to spawn, where you want red team to spawn. By convention, the blue team spawns on the left and the red team spawns on the right. If you're doing free-for-all, just make everyone blue team. So like if you were making a free-for-all map, and you're just putting random spawn points for people just put the blue tanks don't worry about the red ones so yeah and if you want to get really advanced like if you just want to have it generate a map for you to an extent um, I found that if you set this to 1 this to 3 uh, maybe this to like 0. 0.5 this to point uh, I guess 0. 0.5 and this to 0. 0.25 and then now you want to use uh, shift and select all of these tiles. Make sure you turn on random mode. And then make sure you turn on the uh, rectangle tool. It sort of just draws a map for you. And, and I don't really like the, uh, the values of that. So if you want to, you can just go and tweak some of these around. And there you go. There's a pretty cool base. Uh, oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, if you don't like the uh, grid, just go into view and uncheck show grid. Some people like it, some people don't, but that's how you turn it on and off. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Once again, all the links you need are in the description. Uh, let me know in the Discord server if you have any questions. That's also in the description. And yeah, thank you for watching the video. See you next time.